because I saw my parents being very, 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 very compassionate themselves, uh, I was able to build the value of, of compassion, which really helped me relate to people, understand their problems, uh, appreciate them much more. So compassion was one one value that that helped me. The, the other thing was persistence, which is that when you're trying to do something, regardless of failure, you have to pursue that. You have to persevere. And I think these two values really helped shape up my thinking and my career till date. I studied uh, to become a software engineer, uh, but I, I, re I realized pretty much early on that I was not meant to sit and make software. So as soon as I graduated, I, I decided to just leave software and move to a different field. Uh, I took an internship, uh, which helped me get exposure to economy, to India, to a lot that was going on in India at that time, to a lot of its problems, to a lot of its solutions, to a lot of good and bad things altogether. And uh, at some level that gave me an expertise uh, of sorts about what India was all about. That helped me uh, in my career future on because I was picked up by a private equity fund based in the US uh, to uh, manage their India operations and eventually went, went ahead and became the head of the India operations uh, in 2008. Uh, but throughout this, this, uh, this journey, it's really compassion and, and, and pers uh, persistence that have, that have carried me forward. And um, that's, that's what has shaped my career. When, when I, I, lost my, I lost my cousin in the road accident, uh, it was a combination of these two values that made sure that I did something about the problem and not just blame someone else or blame the government for the loss that I had. <laughs> uh, you should ask that question to my mother, actually. Not to me, <laughs> but I would like to believe that I was a balanced kid, that I was a balanced child, that I, I was, I was naughty. Um, I, I, I did my, I played my pranks. I had my fights. I, I did what I had to do. But uh, again, like I said, the, there were some values that were built in, um, you know, which which I always stuck to. Uh, growing up, I never. Uh, tried cigarettes. I never, uh, you know, I never smoked. I never uh, drank. I, I uh, drank only after I became an, a, an adult and I could could do that responsibly. So uh, I would say I was a balanced uh, person growing up, uh, as you know, as a child and as a teenager. I wanted to become a fighter pilot uh, when I was a child, and I did apply. To after I uh, finished my K-12, uh, I applied to uh, join the forces to become a pilot. And unfortunately, thanks to my uh, glasses, I was not able to uh, make it. I wanted to become a fighter pilot not because I like to bomb things, but I wanted to serve my my, peop my, my people in my country. And when I could not do that in that way, I always felt that there had to be other ways of doing, uh, of of serving the community, of serving your country. And so I, I kept that in my mind, and I was waiting for the right opportunity to come. And um, as I said, while Save Life started as a result of a personal loss that I had, today it is serving a much larger uh, group than just my own uh, interest. After building Save Life for about three years, um, I had to make a choice. And the choice was that whether I should continue with a very, very professionally and financially rewarding career uh, in you know uh, in the corporate world, or whether I should leave all of that and focus on growing Save Life, which would not give me any financial gratification or professional gratification maybe, but give me much much more community related uh, experience and and and, and uh, gratification if you may. So that was a big challenge that I had to think through because um, uh, I had to I had to let go of my income. I had to let go of a lot of. Uh, things I was enjoying in my life and eventually I went with Save Life uh, not just because it's a community cause but it's because I built it it was my baby and and I think I had to uh, take care of it and I could not have let it go so I, I decided to leave my corporate job and focus focus on building Save Life uh, in, into uh, you know a, a global non-profit and that's that's what my, my my vision is for Save Life the key to success is uh, in, in, in my view is uh, the pursuit of excellence. If you pursue uh, excellence, then everything else you desire will come as a result of that. But if you pursue money, or if you pursue 
something which is uh, uh, you know which is much more material in nature uh, then uh, it's, it's going to be a much tougher challenge to to achieve that uh, when you're good when you're excellent people want to work with you people want to give you money people want to support you uh, so it's really pursuit of excellence that's one professional value that i believe really helps people get forward and the second thing is integrity uh, you have to have the integrity to be able to say no at times you have to have the integrity to take judgment decisions on what is the right thing to do and what is not the right thing to do as i said earlier that when you're trying to do something which is challenging there will be people who will block your path who will try to get you not to do that thing and you have to have the integrity to face them to to deal with them i think these two uh, two um, uh, qualities can really help people move forward and and uh, achieve what they want to achieve my message to young people is very simple uh, do what you enjoy if you do what you enjoy then work becomes passion but and if you do something that you don't enjoy and you just do it as a work then um you don't excel in that you don't you don't succeed in that if you want to become a footballer and your parents are saying uh, become a software engineer become a footballer because that's what you enjoy more and that's what you will you will that that's what will help you succeed in life so always do what you enjoy and uh, drive safe that's it <laughs> <laughs> that's a good last word <laughs>